Alright guys, welcome back to another Daisy tutorial. Um, I'm going to show you a way of deleting or removing objects that's placed in the Daisy editor um, if, you're, if you're unable to delete them in the editor. Now, the reason I'm going to do this is I didn't even know it was a problem and I don't think it is. Um, for most of you guys, this probably isn't going to be a problem. But I've got a friend who says he's placed um, an item down in the editor and he can't delete it. Now, I thought it was a bit strange because normally you can just put an item down, put your mouse over it and press delete on your keyboard and it goes. I'm guessing he's just being a dum-dum. Um, and I'm guessing he's just doing something wrong. But just in case he isn't, in case there is some items or objects in the daisy editor list that are bugged and you can't delete them once placed i'm going to show you how you can so again um this may not apply to most of you if any of you but at least if someone does come across this issue this video is there to help them and um, sort it right now i'm on chinaris map but if uh, your server is running a different map and you're making edits on that a different map it doesn't matter uh, you just need to make sure you load whatever map in the editor that in the editor that you're using for your server but just follow the guide exactly the same way it, it doesn't so it doesn't matter what map you're on so to keep this simple um yeah anyway let's just crack on so let's just say i put this object there it doesn't matter what object it is but just say that's the object i placed and then say oh i think oh sugar I actually don't want that object there. That's the wrong object. And then say, pretend, for the sake of the video. Again, everything's for the sake of the video, just for demonstration purposes. Now, if I want to, I can delete it. It's not a problem. Um, let's see if I can just find that item again. Let's just put the item back down there. So you can see I can delete it. But for the purpose of the video, let's pretend that I can. Let's pretend you're this guy is watching this video because you're having this issue. Right. So say I can't delete that, what we can do is if we go up to File, Export. Now, I'm going to export as an init.c file. Um, I suggest you do the same, but you can technically do it as a TXT or an XML, as long as you can open the file and edit the file in some sort of notepad program. Uh, but again, for the sake of the video, and I just suggest you just do the same, just to make it easier, so you can follow along with this video, is export it to an init.c. Once we've done that, just scroll down. We've already got a test file that we've been testing. Um, we're just going to scroll down. We're going to rename it in this file box. And we're just going to name... Well, I don't mean rename. We're just going to give it a name. Um, we're just going to call it test3. And then we're going to click export. You go, it's saved one object. Now, you could have, I'm trying to think how I'm going to word it, you could have more than one item on the map. Um, normally, if you're making a custom location on your server, you've probably got hundreds of objects placed. Uh, so, just bear that in mind. When we get to the, the file that I'm going to show you, um, for me, there's only going to be this one item, but for you, you could have multiple items. Right, anyway, once we've done that, we're going to exit out of this because you're going to need to exit out editor. So we'll do that now. And then we're going to just tab to our documents folder. So go to like your file explorer, go to documents, find Daisy, find the editor folder. And inside there, we're going to have the, the file that we just exported. So for me, test three, and I just deleted the test two one. We're going to right click and we can edit or you can edit with if you've got notepad plus plus or another notepad program installed you can choose what you want to edit it with i'm going to choose to edit with notepad plus plus because it's a it's a nice program to use and we're just going to click on there uh and click now on that okay that's fine uh that just that little pop-up just told me that i had a a test dot a test2.c file already loaded in editor but i deleted it um from the file um i don't need it but anyway we've got the file that we've just right click and edited with notepad plus plus now if you scroll down near the bottom we got this created object section with the spawn object now like i just said you will have probably many objects and usually if you make a mistake if you place an object down and you think oh i don't want that but you can't remove it in editor it's best to 
do this straight away. Best to export it and come and do it straight away because it'll be the last object in this list that um, that you place that you don't want. So say I add, I don't know, say I add 50 objects. If you place, if the 50th object was the last one that you placed, that was the one that you didn't want, that would just, you just go to the bottom of the list and you would delete the this entire spawned object line. If, um, if you had carried on doing your edits, or say you'd place the object down, but later on you thought, actually, no, I don't want that object there, I want that removed, but you couldn't remove it, then you just have to come do what I'm doing now, and you just have to scroll through your list. I'm hoping this makes sense. Scroll through this list and find which one it was you wanted removing, and you would delete the line. Now, the problem comes if if you have more than one of the same object. So say this object, this BLDR MISC coil. Say I add it 50 times, hopefully, right? Um, but only one of them I wanted removing. So say 49 of them I placed okay, but one of them maybe I decided I didn't want or um, I placed it in the wrong position. It kind of gets, unless you know the position, um, you could kind of go onto like Daisy I Survive map and uh, find where uh, on the map you could find the location so say you know you place this object in starry sabor by the red barn for example you could go to daisy i survive map and then on the bottom of the map is usually uh some lo lo spawn location or not spawn the, the location of where it is so you'd obviously your cursor over and find the location and then you just match them the the, the four well, the, the, was it the X and Z, is it? X and Y, X, Y and Z. I think it's X and Z. You just match them up with these and these. And then you could go through and then match it up to your list. And then you can find out that way, which is the one that you wanted removing. Now, so for example, let me just open up I Survive because uh, I'm probably going to confuse you. I didn't want this um, this video to go on for too long. But I want to actually show you everything so you get an idea. Uh, I actually like... Uh, I think that'll do. Um, so you get the idea. So let's just go to Novi Sabor because that's where I was. Which is up here. And I placed that item literally just outside the police station. So the police station is... That? Yeah, I think this is the police station. So I think I literally placed it round about where my cursor is. So we've got the coordinates at the bottom. We've got seven one seven eight, and then seven six eight five. Now let's see if we can match something up to that. So we've got seven one nine one, seven one nine one. If we go back to I survive, um, and we could scroll through seven one, which is there. Okay, so it's about there. So that is roughly in the location. And then I think it was a little bit more down. So if you can, you just find the, the one there and then just try and match the numbers up. And then once you're close, because if you've only got, um, if you've got two in the, in the same sort of town, they're probably not going to, well, you could have them right by each other, um, which case it's a 50-50 chance of getting the right one. But if you've got one in a completely different area, um, the these locations will be quite a bit different. So you've got to just try and match up the closest locations from the bottom of the screen here with a mouse is to uh, what is in this file. I think that's the easiest way. The only other way is to simply delete, delete one of these, save it, import it back to editor and see if that's the right one. If it's not, you've got to come back, place the, the line back in that you deleted and scroll through all the other ones and delete one by one and test which one is the right one you want removing. And also, if you are doing it that way, the long way, is make a copy. So copy that. Say open it up in another notepad. Oh, wrong button. Open up in another notepad and paste in the line that you're going to delete. Then, once we delete this line, say this was the wrong one that I didn't want removing. I've got it in this file. I can copy it. And I could pop it back there. And then 
I'll do the same with the next ones. So I'm hoping that makes sense. Now, back to the actual purpose of the actual video as well. Right, say this is this is the one that I want removing. Also I'd do is I would delete that line. Just go file, save, or you know, click on the, the floppy disk drive and just save it. Then we we'll just close out of this. We can we don't actually need that. We'll just close out of that entirely. We don't actually need the internet up. And then what we can do, just to make sure it has saved right, we can go back to the documents, Daisy and editor folder, right click on your file, um, just edit with Notepad++ and you can see the object's gone. So we know that is saved correctly. Um, and don't save it, just save and overwrite the existing file. Don't save it as or save it to a different location. Just keep it there because it needs to be in this location. Then what we can do is we'll go back into the editor. So we'll open up editor, we'll go back onto the Chinaris map or whatever map you're using. Let this load. And then we will go back to Novi, which is just right here. Now, this will be empty, there'll be nothing there, look, because this is the default um, Chinaris map. This is just loaded up as default Chinaris. But if we actually uh, go to file and import the actual file import.c did I do export file import.c click on it import you can see it's loaded no objects because there was nothing there that object is gone and we're good to go if I had placed a, say two objects and deleted one the second object would have appeared uh, because I only placed one, it's fine. But you can see that's a way of getting rid of an object or an item um, if you're unable to delete it in Daisy Editor. And then all you do from there, carry on with your edits or save the file. When you're ready to upload the file to your server um, or if you finish for the day, you just file and then save. And that will save it as a DZE file, which then... Um, as long as you're using the Daisy Edge to load a mod, you can upload that to your server and then your server will, will spawn the objects that you've created. Now, I'm not going to show you how to import it to your server um, and show you that server side of things because I've already done a video on that. What I'll do is I'll put a link to that video in the description box so you can see how you can upload uh, custom objects that you've placed in the editor and put them into your server. Anyway. Um, that's it guys. Until next time, have fun and peace out.